Talk us through the dynamic. <laughs> the dynamic, I gotta say, I can make a joke, but the dynamic, it's weird that she's sitting right here, but it was... We're divorced. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it went very poorly for us. Um, it was, without a doubt, the best collaboration I've ever had uh, in my life because I have always been a huge fan of hers on screen, but we keep our uh, careers very separate. So I've actually never seen her work on set for an extended period of time. I've never seen her do very intense acting and to see to be in the room when she does what she does, you get to see why she's so good. And it's really um, it's really amazing. And I think it's actually made us closer working yeah. together. It's been, in, it's been really incredible. I think we were nervous about it because in some ways you're sort of a different person when you're at work and it, you have to embrace that side to each other and allow for it. And, and we just loved it, like would do it again. And it was just awesome. Sound is the key in this film. What you don't understand is so quiet for the first 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So quiet. Mm -hmm. It's a quiet film rather than a silent film, and that's a really interesting distinction, I think, because there is a lot of sound, but the characters themselves aren't allowed to make any sound. And it's funny how quickly, I think, it's been really nice to see how quickly the audience becomes very much like the family in the film, where people are eating popcorn, opening up their candy, and then realizing <laughs> that the family can't make sounds, so then you just watch as you know, however many hundred people are in the audi audience just slowly put their popcorn down like, this is gonna get me killed. It's absolutely <laughs> true that because someone who was sitting there near me was tipping out a little thing of mint <laughs> from a, you know, a plastic container and everyone kind of went, oh, yeah. don't do that. Yeah. You have children yourselves mm -hmm. and yeah. in the film, of course, you have children and that's a big part of the story is about how you go about caring for them and Absolutely. protecting them. Yeah. That feel quite personal without getting too misty eyed about it. You have Please, children. God there are knows. children in the God. film. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I, I don't think my name is the name you look at and say, I can't wait to see a horror film from him. Um, because it's not something I would have expected. Also, I wasn't a big horror fan before this. Now I'm a huge horror fan. But what connected me to the idea of doing this movie and why I jumped on, and I think why Emily ended up jumping on, is because, yes, it's a scary movie, and I love that people are saying that, but it's really about family. It's about the extremes that you would go to to protect your kids. So can I ask you, which do you think of the two of you has, has gone furthest towards, have you become <clears throat> more British? <laughs> or has Emily become more... Really Hollywood it's, or it's more American, of, which oh, is Hollywood. Not just, oh, look at that face! Yeah, I, said, exactly. I said the wrong She's thing. British. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rather than um, um, you know what I'm saying. I do. Whatever. Has there been I a drift? Seen um, a full eye roll in the years. Yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> um, Please now. Oh God. Um, I think it's a blend. I think I feel John's from Boston, so he's quite British anyway, in many ways, and the sense of humor is very aligned. I don't mean to pry, but how right. does that translate in, into bringing up the kids? Okay, we're out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, <clears throat> well, I feel like um, my children are probably a bit of a lost cause when it comes to the accent. I think they will be fully American. Um, no, don't fist Sorry, pump. it's not a victory. You're right. Um, the little one still quite likes Marmite. The older one starting to reject it, which is deeply upsetting. But um... so you're sort of fighting the Brit <laughs> corner in the household. Oh yeah. I feel sometimes, yeah. <laughs> like how would that play out? Oh, she has like a Union Jack towel that she comes down in <laughs> every day. <laughs> Things like that that I find are aggressive because yeah. I don't, I don't do the same. But yeah. No, it, I think it gave her great pleasure that when she was shooting Mary Poppins over here, our daughter was two, and was going to school here and was coming home with all sorts of delightful words and phrases and accents. But now she actually, Hazel actually does say to me, you say water and I say water. And I'm like, <laughs> well, which sounds better? <laughs> She's like, The what? Mary Poppins thing, so much excitement about that. Yes, yes. Yes, very, what, from me or for in general? Well, just every, everyone, <laughs> it's Mary Poppins and it's no, being it's made thrilling, again. Yeah. And it's you. It's thrilling, yeah, yeah. He like cried hard. Yeah. 25 minutes into the movie, I stood up and walked to the back of the room and Emily got, I think very offended, and she said, do you want me to stop it, is everything okay? And I said, yes, I'm just looking for napkins, because I had blown through a box of tissues already, and I was it's just really, looking for anything to it's really stop beautiful. the water works. It's really beautiful. Look really how weird. confused he looks, he's like crying. No, 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 I like it's this. It's so strange, you, no, no, strange no, I, I'm completely, yeah. uh, I'm, is it water No, no, you just look like baffled. No, no, it comes out of your eyes, is it oil or yeah. blood? <laughs> I'm quite the reverse, because I cry very easily in films. Do you? Yeah. But only when you're alone. Not in public. Your film that I've seen, 
I had a tear. Really? You did? Why are you so surprised? Because you see, no, you're I'm doing excited. the same thing. No, I think, no, I just, am, I am surprised. Well, because you're very deliberately wringing out our emotions is go. what you were doing. That's right. You knew what you were doing. I did, yeah. But it's nice to know that it had a, the proper result. <laughs> but you, but you, how conscious are you of that thing? Because you say the film really concentrates on the family. Oh, I mean, you, if I'm you honest, I'm very, very conscious. I, it, because, again, we had just had our second daughter three weeks before I read the first draft of the script. So I was a wide open nerve. Wound. Now, listen, I'll cry at anything like you. I mean, you sound like more of a sap than I do. But at the same time, <laughs> no, but I would cry at anything. So I was very emotionally driven to make that a part of the story and make sure that people felt connected to this family. I actually personally think the movie's scarier because you care so much about this family because you don't want anything to happen to them. So when there are emotional moments in the movie, it's very hard because it's a very simple setup and a very um, simple uh, group of relationships that you're keeping track of and so you don't want anything to happen to anybody. The children in your film are amazing. They're brilliant, actors. aren't they? Yeah. Could you ever foresee a time you've got, you know, husband and wife director stars? <clears throat> Could you ever foresee a time if your children wanted to <clears throat> to turn they... into the Von Trapps? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Never. Okay. You no. say that I now. Mean, what never. if they I want to get a what record if they deal? Want to? A record deal. <laughs> what if they want to? Well, then they want to, but I would love them to explore other avenues. Let me pitch you. Probably. What if we were all in Lederhosen? Then I'm in. Okay, great. Yeah. We're going to leave it on that slightly <laughs> worrying thought. It's lovely to meet you both. Thank you. Thank you. See, see you. you. Oh, a lovely couple. They were. They're happy. Time for a last brief.